What's up guys, Quezzy or Noah here bringing you guys another video and I'm back with another league wide redesign. So I've done the Premier League before but the last video was a speed art. Um, this one I'm going to go into a little more depth on why I did what I did for each design and talk about the current kits for each team this season. A little late with this video, I wanted it to come out earlier in the season but editing kind of sucks for me, I take so long. I've done a few of these league wide redesigns though, I've just done the NFL which did really well so I thought I would do a few more leagues. So let me know what other leagues you'd like to see me do or other teams you'd like to see me redesign. I usually do a concept kit every week on my Instagram. So if you're interested in more concept kits be sure to check that out. Before I get started in talking about each team, I want to mention a little bit of my process for designing each of these. I researched each team's past kits and their current kits or the kits that came out. I did this before most of the kits came out so I had like a general idea of what they were going to be um, and I used all those things to create my concepts. Sometimes I would use historical kits and remake them, sometimes it was just fresh ideas I had. It's kind of whatever I'm feeling. I didn't have as much time on this project as I did the NFL project because the NFL one I was in college for and had a lot of free time. This time I'm working as a full-time freelancer so it's, I, I gave myself one try on each of these. So they're not as detailed or in-depth. Uh, but I think they turned out pretty cool and I wanted to share. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to this channel for more concept kit stuff. If you guys want to subscribe to my main channel where I post a lot of tutorials and things like that, that would be great as well. Um, that will be linked in the description. But let's go ahead and get started. If you're curious, by the way, all these kits were designed using mockups from Template FC, mainly the Kit Builder mockup template, which allows you to use different collar options. Um, there's eight collar options, there's different textures, different cuts of sleeves, and it's a Photoshop mockup that you can get for about 35 ish dollars. Um, and there's front views, back views, angled views, full kit views. Um, and it's actually a mock-up I created for my website, which is Template FC. If you're interested in creating them, there's also cheaper mock-ups and even free mock-ups. Also pattern packs of real-life jerseys that you can use in your concept kits. Um, so if that interests you and you're interested in making your own stuff, be sure to check that out. But anyways, the first team we're starting out here with is Liverpool. And it's fitting that I start with the champions, but that's not why they're first. In fact, they were the first team I designed for this project. And I actually didn't know I was doing this project when I designed them. And I did it before they were champions back in March, even though we knew they were going to be champions. It was just delayed because of the virus. I did them the earliest because of them going from New Balance to Nike. I wanted to try to predict their new design and how it would look. Uh, I did see the leaked colors for their jerseys and I was aware that the third kit was going to be a checkered pattern. So I tried to use all the knowledge that I had from that to try to predict the jerseys. Um, with one minor change, I saw that the green was also going to be included in the home trim, but I didn't think that looked good so I just wanted to use the red and white that Liverpool have been using recently and I think looks a lot classier and better. My home kit then features just a subtle pattern on the top and it doesn't have any meaning. It's designed just to look cool and make it a little more interesting than a plain red kit would uh, because I am posting these on Instagram and stuff and people wouldn't really care if there's nothing going on with the jersey so I try to add just a little bit of flavor in a subtle pattern and I really like the red and white combo and I added the Nike stripes that are prominent in the new Nike kits this season um, that are kind of like the zigzag lightning bolt type stripe I don't know exactly what to call it but they go down the sides and they have like the jagged edge also I used the little bit darker red that they've been using in recent years I think when they've gone to Nike Nike has now uh, made that red a little bit brighter similar to what they had with Adidas but I really like the New Balance slightly darker red. I just think it looked a lot better and it was more unique and really fit Liverpool. Now my away kit gets completely outshined by the real away kit that came out. When I designed mine I thought the away kit was going to be a plain green or teal um, kit that would have been worn with like black and would have looked cool but it would have been pretty basic and just relied on the bright poppy color to look cool. However their actual kit design is super nice, it came out really great and I went with a modified checkered pattern to kind of fit the theme of checkered kits like the third kit and my design is pretty cool, it is a checkered pattern made up of a bunch of other checkered patterns which are made up of dots um, but overall the design is pretty simple 
I really like the trim I used with the black and white and I think that would have looked pretty cool on the real Liverpool kit but the real Liverpool way outshines mine and I wish I would have done something completely different to not be associated with the same one but since I use the same colors they rightfully should be compared and I don't think mine can overtake the real thing. And then on to the third kit, which is where I saw that they would be using a checkered pattern and inspired both the away and the third kit here. But my checkered pattern for this third kit is actually a Nike checkered pattern. So last season, Nike had a pattern that they used for teams warmups and stuff where it would be a checkered pattern, but one of the checkers were like striped, um, similar to what you see in this kit design. And then in the filled boxes, they'd put a team's logo. So I believe Roma had a pattern like this and maybe Inter Milan or something. Uh, so I use that same pattern idea for this away kit thinking they wouldn't do just normal, uh, like a normal checkered pattern. And it turns out they did, but I actually like my checkered pattern a little bit more. And also I added a red stripe down the middle just to make it a little more interesting. And um, I think this kit turned out really cool. I think it's really nice really proper and I actually think mine is better than the real thing here and I think my prediction would have been better than what they put out but they're both pretty cool they're basically the same thing and I'm sorry to my Liverpool fans that I didn't do anything else I kind of went with what they had this season but like I said their design was before I knew I was doing this project so the idea was a little bit different for me at the time so the new Aston Villa kits are basic Aston Villa jerseys. There's not much going on. It's their classic design with the claret and the blue. They have a, an away black kit that is really nice. And then their third kit is a weird camo pattern thing that, I mean, I, I guess it looks cool, but it's nothing too special. My Aston Villa kits are one of the more recent designs I did since they just barely managed to stay up. One of the hardest things about this redesign was distinguishing the differences between Villa, Burnley, and West Ham. I think my favorite of the three is this villa design. I wanted to go with the classic claret body and blue sleeves and I did that for actually all three of the teams but I wanted to do something a little bit different to each one to make them stand out. I'll talk about the other two later on but for this Aston Villa one I used one of the patterns from the template FC patterns pack. I don't remember the team's pattern that I used I'll put it on screen right now but it turned out great to, on the sleeves and just looked really nice. It really makes the design unique and makes it stand out from the other ones. It also reminds me of Candy, but that's beside the point. The white away kit then is my take on the 83-84 away kit, which was one of my favorite kits from Aston Villa's history when I was researching it. It features this very clean claret and yellow stripe pattern throughout, and I used the pattern from the sleeves to recreate the stripes, um, and then I used some subtle half tones in between the spaces to act like a bit of a texture. You'll notice for this away kit, I didn't use any of the blue, and that's because in my head for this design for Aston Villa, I obviously did the claret and blue home, and then for the away, I only used the claret and then obviously some yellow and no blue. And then for the third kit, I didn't want to use any of the claret, and I just wanted to use the blue just so they are all distinguished and there's no confusion between the three of them and they're clearly different, mainly because the two main colors really stand out and it'd be like a little too much to have both of them in all three kits. And one of my first ideas for Villa was to do a checkered jersey for the away or third. And I had thought for some reason that they had worn checkered jerseys more than once in their history. And I don't know where I got that from, but it was just stuck in my head and was one of the first ideas I had for them. But when I was researching the kits, I realized they only ever had one checkered kit, which was in 1314. And it wasn't really like a proper checkered kit. But anyways, I still went with a checkered kit and I did the blue and the black, and I think that combo is really cool. Um, it's a nice balance, and I went with a black sleeve and a blue sleeve, which might be a little too much. Maybe I should have just stuck with the black or blue, probably the black, but overall, I think this design is still really cool, and it still feels like a villa kit to me, and that's all that matters. Uh, maybe you guys don't like it, but I'm a big fan. It's always hard to find new ways to make a striped uniform interesting and fresh. You see teams with striped kits mix it up a lot with a lot of different variations. Barcelona, for example, has a lot of variation in their kit from year to year. This year they included some yellow, last year they had a checkered kit. Sometimes they just go half and half. The stripes sometimes are different widths. A bunch of different things you can do. So for Sheffield, I wanted to do something a little bit interesting. And for all the striped kits in this redesign, I did something interesting. For Sheffield specifically, I found their kit from 1990 to 1992 and I thought it was one of their best in their history. The kit was the standard 
red kit with white stripes, but inside the white stripes was a thinner black stripe, and that simple addition really made the kit stand out to me. And I did the same thing in my redesign, and I think this this look really works for the blades. Uh, especially with the black shorts and black socks that they usually wear, the thin black line in the stripes really brings it all together. And then I use that idea of the black stripe inside the white on the trim of the sleeves and the collar to give the whole kit balance. And I think it turned out really great. And then also I added that to the socks. That stripe pattern I like so much that I incorporated it as well into the away kit using it as part of the trim and collar. This sort of style is pretty unique and I don't think you really ever see it in a soccer kit but it is inspired from some of the striping I've seen in the NBA and college basketball. Uh, they use a lot of this like striping pattern on trims or um, as side stripes using different blocks of color. So that's kind of where that inspiration came from. But overall the design for the away white is pretty simple with just some basic stripes going down that are gray and white. And then for the third kit, I was inspired by their 94-95 away kit. And the color scheme was really unique with this green and navy, and I thought no other team is going to have something quite like this. And then the design was inspired from the same kit, but obviously it's not very similar. It was just my take on a design using those colors. That 94-95 kit also featured the big polo collar style, and so I also did the same collar style here because I think it looks really nice. Kind of looks like a golf shirt maybe, but I think it's pretty unique and really interesting. Leicester City has some really good kits recently, and also throughout their history they've had some pretty nice ones. I personally really like the 83-85 to 85 kit, which featured, featured double stripes, um, as well as the 94-96 to 96 kit that just featured the yellow and white trim. And I think both those looks looked really great, so I tried to use them both in my home design for Leicester. The striping effect, I went a little more subtle. Instead of the standout white stripes, I just went with like a more subtle blended in stripe design. But the yellow trim I really liked and I think that really makes the Leicester kit pop. And I know they did something similar to that this season then. And I think their kit this season is really good. Um, but their home kit the last five seasons has been really good, uh, whether they use yellow or gold as the trim color. And this design is actually one of my favorites in this project. I think it looks really clean and I think in real life it, the design would turn out great and just really pop on the field and stand out. For the away kit I decided to go with yellow this time since I went with white in my previous redesign and again I decided to incorporate some stripes. This time I added thin white and blue stripes horizontally because I thought the all yellow was a bit too much. I don't know if you guys know this but like an all yellow room will make people very sad and depressed. So um, that's sort of thinking I always think about when I design things. So I never like to have a lot of open yellow. I like to break it up a little bit and that's what I did with this pattern. There is a subtle pattern as well to give it some more interest, but you can't really see it and it's just there to give it kind of a cool wave effect. Finally, the third kit is one of the best kits in this entire project, or at least that's what my Instagram says, uh, which by the way you should follow as that's where I post all my concept kit stuff. I post at least one a week. Um, so if you have any team suggestions, feel free to reach out to me there and I could design your favorite team's kit. Anyway, this kit was just a creation of mine with no real historic inspiration. The current kit design style is to feature a lot of paint textures or splatters, so that's the idea behind this bit of the design. And basically I took the grease stripe pattern from the template FC patterns pack and roughed it up and combined it by flipping it on itself um, and added these sweet colors and broke it up with um, some darker overlays. But the black with the cyan really pops and I think this overall design is really, really good. Now we're back to the Aston Villa, Burnley and West Ham problem. So I took care of Villa and I'm happy with the result, but how do I distinguish the Clarets from the Irons? They even have the same kit maker in Umbro. I decided I'll cover them both here in this one section just to better show off their differences. So for Burnley, I could have gone with less blue and done like a full Claret kit, but I really enjoy the blue sleeves that these teams wear, so I kept it pretty simple with some subtle stripes and plain blue sleeves. The feature that makes this kit unique is the collar and sleeve trim. It's simple, but I think it keeps a nice classy umbro look that I like, and it will stand out from the West Ham kit I designed. 
I could have gone with something more over the top, similar to like Aston Villa was a little crazy with the sleeves, but I just don't think Burnley would do anything too crazy like that with their kit. They do strike me as the proper Brexit team, and obviously they're known as a very defensive team, so it's very fitting that their kit isn't anything too creative or insane. It's very fitting for Burnley to have a nice simple kit. Now the West Ham kit is even more simple, but it's intentionally designed that way because it is their 125th anniversary kit. The kit they actually put out this season is similarly simple with a celebratory badge, which I modified slightly for my kit, and not much else going on. My kit, however, features subtle vertical stripes that incorporate the hammers from their logo since it's a big part of their identity and history. Uh, the hammers are also featured on the arms of West Ham County and Newham Borough of London. So I wanted to incorporate that into their jersey design, which I did subtly through those stripes. Now for Burnley's away in third kit then, the away top is blue because of course it is. Uh, Burnley always seems to have a blue kit. And it makes sense since blue and claret are their biggest colors, obviously, so they're going to use it uh, more than any other color. So it's very fitting to have the claret kit and the blue kit, and I decided not to change that. I used a umbro pattern from the Template FC Patterns Pack, which I think is really clean. The pattern comes from a team in Brazil, I believe, that wears umbro. Um, I don't remember which team, but I'll have it on the screen right now in case you're curious. And I thought the pattern just looked really clean, so I thought it'd be fitting for Burnley here. For the third kit then, I decided to use yellow as it's another color Burnley seems to use a lot. And the design was inspired by one of my favorite Umbro goalkeeping kits and actually a pattern from the Template FC Patterns Pack again. Now the goalkeeping pattern is a bit crazy so I had to keep it simple with just black but I think that the overall look is pretty good and came out pretty nice and it's not anything too too crazy. Um, it's still relatively simple and very much contrasts from the other two kits. The West Ham away kit then is inspired by the pattern from their home kit between 76 and 80. This sort of chevron look is very unique to them and I really wanted to include it in their design. Um, I could have done it for the home but since the 125th anniversary thing was happening I thought it was more fitting to have a simpler home and then do something like this for the away. The third kit then was just one of my creations incorporating both their main colors on a black kit. and. I'm still not sure if I should have used their main color since it's a bit too much of the claret and blue, but I figured since the other two teams with these colors didn't use all three colors on all three kits, I could use all three colors on these three kits, Whew, if that makes sense. Um, so I went ahead and used it, and the black dominates this, so I don't think the use of those colors um, hampers the overall design of all three, and I think all three really stand out and look good. Everton was a unique challenge for me because they don't have any instantly recognizably great kits in my opinion. All their kits are good. I don't think they have a bad kit but they don't have a great kit either. It's consistently good and pretty much it's consistently simple. They don't do anything too crazy. They do feature some white stripes and stuff every now and then. But the only one that really kind of stood out to me was the 8586 kit which features a big white block at the top of it. I like the inclusion of the white block and wanted to include a little more white in my design instead of the basic all blue. So my design just features the white stripe across the chest that encompasses the Everton crest and the Hummel logo. The rest of the top then features a broken up stripe pattern um, horizontally to go along with that white stripe. And I like the broken up aspect of it. I think it looks a little more interesting than just normal basic stripes. Now for the away kit, um, I know Everton likes to have a yellow kit a lot of times, and I'm a big fan of their yellow kit. But in my last Everton redesign, I went with a yellow kit and I decided to mix it up and try to do something a little bit different for this. I found a really interesting away kit that Everton had in 92 to 94, which was this salmon and blue stripe design. And I thought, no other team really has anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and redesign that. And the colors are just very unique together, and but they also look very good. Uh, so I, it's nothing too crazy, but the color combo is unique. And overall, I just think it's like a simple and clean looking design. The third kit then is the white kit that features a good bit of yellow. So I guess this could classify as my yellow kit design. But it was inspired by another Hummel kit that I saw this year that came out for Cambridge. And I decided to kind of recreate it, but kind of just do my own thing with it. Um, and it's pretty unique. Maybe it would have looked better with a different color other than yellow, 
but I thought the yellow was very fitting of Everton. And then instead of like a blue or whatever, I went with a black. So it's a black, white, and yellow kit. And it should serve as a good contrast to the other two. It might make more sense for the away kit to actually be this white one and then the salmon one to be the third kit. But I really like the salmon one and I think they should wear it more in this theoretical universe that these kits are real. So I made it the away kit so they would wear it more often. At least that's how it works in my head. You know that age-old question, is a zebra black with white stripes or white with black stripes? That question may also apply to Juventus, but it should not apply to Newcastle, in my opinion. Newcastle should always be black with white stripes. It just looks better. I always prefer when the Newcastle kit is a majority black with white on it, so that's what I did here. The striping pattern I went with is a big central white stripe with some thinner white stripes as you move through further outward. The Puma logo I originally had was black, but I learned quickly to switch it to white. Um, if you didn't know, Sunderland are called the Black Cats, which I wasn't aware of, um, so there's no way Newcastle would ever feature a reference to their biggest rival on their kit. Um, I don't know where that name, the Black Cats, came from, um, and I wasn't aware of it until I did this design. Anyway, their away kit was inspired by one of my favorite Premier League kits of all time, the Newcastle 93-95 away kit. I decided to use a similar color scheme with a design that was somewhat similar but really my own creation. The final design looks a bit more like a third kit, but I don't care, I'm making it their away kit. For the third kit then, I based it off of Newcastle's kit from 85-88, to and this was one of my favorite kits of theirs that I saw along with the 93 to 95. So I really wanted to recreate this one as well, this time as the third kit. And the dominant feature of this one is the black and white stripe across the chest. And it's unique because it's split in half, but in the original jersey, um, there's more white than there is black, but I decided to like split it down the middle. I also added a bit of a puma pattern to it to make it a little more interesting instead of just a straight across stripe. And that pattern I also included subtly in the background to blend in. And the pattern, by the way, is the one on Dortmund's kit this season. Um, and I think having that one completely black or whatever color would be a little too much. So I used it subtly and used it on the striping a little bit as well, just to make the overall design a little more unique and interesting. I'm personally not the biggest fan of the new Arsenal kit pattern. I know a lot of people are and a lot of people like the kit, but for me, I'm not really feeling it as I prefer when Arsenal have a simpler, brighter colored kit. Also, they have one of the worst fonts I've ever seen, looking like medieval football club or something. Uh, luckily, they don't wear that font for the Premier League because they wear the Premier League font, but holy crap, that font is bad. Anyway, in my design, I kept it very simple and used the classic bright red with the white sleeves. The sleeve cut goes to the chest and that's based on the new Adidas jersey cut this season. Um, if you've seen the MLS jerseys, um, they all have this cut and a lot of other Adidas jerseys have this cut. I think it's really ugly, especially because the collar pops out all weird and the material looks thick and it just... Something looks off about it to me, but it is what Adidas is putting out this season, so I wanted to include that in my design since I think the Arsenal kit with the white sleeves would actually look pretty good with it. The away kit then is my second take on the amazing 95-96 away kit which was another one of the best Premier League kits of all time. I did this design before and this time I went with a more intricate pattern that I created and is very unique. I then also used a little bit of that pattern on the third kit which features the yellow and blue which Arsenal used to use a lot and I absolutely love this combo for them. I think it pops and just looks really good and it constantly reminds me of the Van Nistelrooy missed penalty at Old Trafford that resulted in him getting mobbed by several Arsenal players. I also mixed up the logo on this one going with just the gun on the badge instead of the full badge uh, because I think that'd be an interesting way to mix up an Arsenal kit. But overall the important thing is the blue and yellow color combo here that I just think looks really great, especially when you add a little bit of the striping on the socks. Which, by the way, I added striped socks to the home kit because I think the Arsenal kit looks so much better with striped socks. I don't know why I think that, but I think it's true. I think those socks look great. Southampton's kits this year are a bit disappointing for me personally. I like it better when they incorporate the stripes or just have the big white down the middle. Um, instead, they went with the sash, which I know is something that they've done historically, so it makes sense. But I just... I like the red kit with the white stripes or the big white stripe down the middle. And also I don't like that their um, third kit, the white kit, is basically the same design, just colors reversed. 
Um, it's such an American football thing to do, and I hate when the European teams do it. I like to see them have three unique kits typically. Um, so my take on the Southampton kit was a redesign of the 70s kit, uh, which had this unique striping pattern basically with uh, a thicker white stripe uh, with two thinner ones on either end. I really like this striping pattern and I included that same stripe on the sash for the away. Now I know I said I didn't like the sash kits they actually have, but I think it might just be on the red kit. On the white kit, it looks fine, and since it's not their home kit, I'm okay with it. Also, their first ever kit, I believe, was white with the sash, so I think it makes more sense as the away kit to be this design. Uh, obviously, my sash is a little more unique. It's not just a solid red stripe. Um, it includes like a little bit of this camo pattern that I made from um, this tutorial on my main channel, actually, if you guys want to check it out. But overall, it's still a pretty simple design, but I use that camo with red trim on the shorts then as well and the sleeve trim. The third kit then is a very unique one. Um, it has no historical meaning. I created this chromatic texture pack for my channel, which by the way, you can check out and download for free. And I really wanted to use one of those textures on a kit. So I was struggling with this Southampton third kit and decided to pull out one of these textures and mess around with the blending options and some of the colors. And this is what I came up with. It's kind of a cop-out, but also I think it's a really nice kit, and you can't really go wrong with an all-black kit with some bright colors. The United kit this year is okay. The home kit is it has a unique pattern going on, but it's nothing special. The away kit is pretty good, and then the third kit, the Dazzle kit, is honestly one of my favorite kits. It's very unique, very cool. Um, and really stands out. The United kit I designed isn't anything too special, for the home at least. To be honest, I found it very difficult to design their home kit as they don't have many characteristics that stand out. Um, I do prefer when logos are white and have both black and white on the trim and collar, so that's what I did for them. Their home kit is always just kind of whatever. Sometimes it's very simple, sometimes the design is pretty complex. I really like their Umbro designs from the 90s and recently they haven't had anything too special in my mind it's all pretty simple but nothing that screams Manchester United in my head for the away kit though I had a clear vision of what I wanted to do I personally love the 99 away kit with the unique stripe on the front so I had to recreate it and it's very fitting for it to be on an adidas kit since it is three stripes and they can incorporate that into the three stripes they have on the sleeves or shoulders or sides depending on the jersey. In my case, I went with the stripes on the shoulder and did the same color pa pattern with the red on the outsides, the black on the inside, and also did that on the collar. This kit is one of my favorites in the whole project. The combo is really good, and I know United fans would love it because the 99 season is remembered pretty fondly because I think they had a pretty decent season that year. The third kit is also inspired by a classic United kit, this time by the 93 away kit. The black, yellow, and blue combo is really good together, and the overall design doesn't look too much like the original, but the colors make it obvious where the inspiration comes from. I mentioned during the Southampton section that I hate when teams use the same design with different colors throughout their kits, and Crystal Palace took that one step further doing it for all three of theirs. Um, so all three of their kits have the same design just with different colors, the blue, white, and black. And this is a very American thing to do. Uh, we do it in all our sports where we just have our main jersey and then do the same thing but white or whatever. And it's super boring and I like three unique kits. So that's what I did for mine and my kits on Instagram were actually very well received. Probably, they're probably up there with the Sheffield kits and the Man City kits as the most loved from this project. Uh, maybe throw in Newcastle there too. I'm personally really happy with how they turned out and I'm confident they're better than the actual palace kits this season. But for real, my design is fairly simple with pretty basic striping that features more blue than red. The blue part incorporates both a lighter and darker blue to make them look like three stripes in one. And I think that's just a very clean and really nice look on kits like this. I actually also think that the gold sponsor doesn't hinder the jersey here like it does on the United kit. The gold sponsor actually looks pretty okay with this in my opinion. The away kit features a sash that Palace like to use a lot, uh, but I bet I went back on this trend of roughing up the design with some paint textures. 
it's the common design trend in jerseys right now. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this. Um, I've noticed it because I obviously do a lot of concept kits and follow people that do concept kits. And the thing is to do a lot of paint effects to kits right now. Um, understandably so because it looks good. But once this passes, um, my kits might look a little out of date and rough. A few years back, it was basically the same thing with gradients. Every kit had a gradient and you see how quickly that's dated. There's also a subtle paint pattern in the background of this one, which was inspired by previous Puma kits that featured a similar painted pattern. It kind of looks like cheetah striping or, or cheetah, spo cheetah spots, whatever, but it's very subtle and in the background. The third kit is inspired by some of the Puma warm-up uh, shirts from this season, and I thought the pattern of this one looked really good, and I recreated it while also using the blue and the red in there kind of subtly. And the design is black and gray because I have had a little too many black kits in this project so I tried to incorporate more gray to kind of mix it up but it's still predominantly black. And then I went with one sleeve being more blue and one sleeve being more red. Um, not really more red or blue, it's just the trim is those colors. Anyway, I think all three of these turned out really good and they're all not the same three designs with different colors so Crystal Palace, take notes. For me personally, I'm not a big fan of the new City Home kit. The design itself is fine, but I find it strange how the shoulders and back look with it. Um, they look like a completely different blue with the pattern, and I think it would look a lot better if the back also had the same pattern. Uh, I don't know what City fans really think, but what are you going to do? Their away kit is pretty great, and I applaud the uniqueness of the Paisley 3rd, but uh, it's a little too strange for me. I'm not a big fan. Anyway, for my design, I based it on one of my favorite Puma kits from this year, uh, which is a kit for, apologies if I mess this up, VFL Usnabruk. Their kit stands out a bit more, so when I did the city kit, I did a more of a subtler pattern. Um, it's actually the same pattern, which is in the template FC pack. Um, and I'm surprised Puma didn't use this pattern more on kits this season. I think I saw it on maybe two, but I think it's a really great pattern that pops and in my opinion really works for city because it incorporates both like the lighter blue and the slightly darker lighter blue that they've used and I, i'm really happy with how this design looks i also went with the white shorts and the white socks because i actually think that's city's best look but also they could wear the blue socks as well i'm not too picky on that my last city away kit design got a few angry comments about me using red i'm not sure if they're city fans or casuals but I mean, they could be both, but they clearly did not know City's history of red and black kits, which is one of the things that I know them best for because I always like their away kits. They've done the Milan-esque black and red stripes, and they've also done a white kit with the black and red sash, but they've definitely used red and black pretty frequently in away kits, even though they are the colors of their more popular neighbor. I personally like the white and sash for this one, so I went with a painted style sash along with sleeve stripes of each color. And I really think this one turned out great, and it's basically a remake of the 2008 jersey. Um, I think it has. I think the 2008 jersey is very similar to this one, and I think it turned out pretty well. For the third kit, then I didn't do anything historical again. This is just a kit to look cool, and I don't think anyone would disagree with me here. But City has a ton of new or casual or bandwagon type uh, fans or younger fans. And this happens when any team starts to be successful and I'm not shitting on it, but it does give you a particular type of fan and I think any successful team would have gone through this period at least once. This type of fan is the one I'm trying to reach with this kit design that has no meaning, uses pretty colors, and looks cool. Also it's black and people love black jerseys, including myself, which is why it's featured like 15 times in this project. Brighton mixed up their kit style this year, opting to go for a blue top with just thin white pinstripes. It's not a bad look, and it's actually pretty good, but it's different from their normal stripes that I'm a fan of. Their away yellow kit is pretty simple, but it's a really nice kit. So I'm pretty pleased with what they put out, but it could be better. And for my Brighton kit, I wanted to once again make some sort of unique striping pattern like the previous stripe kits, uh, like Southampton and Sheffield. The striping in this case is pretty simple. It's the blue and white stripes that are bisected by a thin stripe. On the white stripe, it's bisected by a blue line and the blue stripe is bisected by a yellow line. Uh, I wanted to incorporate a little more yellow into the kit, so that's why I did it with the yellow line in there. Um, and I also included a bit more yellow on the trim in the collar. And I think it turned out well. 
For the away, I decided not to do yellow, however yellow is still very prominent. To contrast the vertical home stripes, I designed horizontal stripes for this away and again went with a stripe that was textured. The idea was for it to be liquidy, but I'm not sure I spent enough time actually executing that aspect of it, but I think it looks pretty cool and unique. I also think the matching socks would look really great together. The third kit was inspired by the seagull on their logo. I thought the teal colored areas here on the pattern looked like a bird flying. Um, sort of like the ones you would draw when you were a kid, you just like go, you create the little like triangle type things. I don't know how to describe it. Um, but the pattern looked good and that was kind of the idea. And the black and the cyan here just look really great and pop together. Um, and I'm really happy with how this kit turned out. It's actually predominantly dark blue, but really kind of comes out as being all black. And again, this one is up there for one of the best kits in this project. Leeds always have their classic white kits and this season is no different. They sometimes mix it up with stripes or various patches of colors throughout the shirt, usually blue, but for the most part, they always have a fairly simple white kit. For my design, I decided to do something a little bit different and add a half and half horizontal stripe across the chest. It's something a little bit different, but the overall iconic look hasn't changed. The stripe also links with the third kit, which I'll explain in a second. For the away kit, I decided to go with a black and blue with like a dotted pattern of blue and yellow on the body. There isn't too much reasoning behind this, but I wanted something to contrast the white and use less of the blue and yellow. I think the blue and yellow pattern actually makes this look really cool and it's kind of like a starry night type look, but obviously the pattern is more organized than stars would be. Um, and this is one of the only kits to feature gradient because I tried to minimize the use of gradients in this project. For the third kit then, I was inspired by the early Leeds kits that they wore. Um, they were simple half and half looks that teams always did back in the day of early football, but almost all of them strayed away from it at some point. Um, so I love this style and I thought I'd bring it back for this design. And I used one of the newer Adidas patterns on the design itself just to give it some zest. Um, and the half and half colors match the stripe from the home kit, which I was talking about earlier with blue on the left side of the kit, yellow on the right if you were wearing it. These kits aren't anything too crazy. They're pretty simple, but overall I think they're a good look and also definitely feel like Leeds kits. West Brown went with a very unique striping pattern this season, seemingly inspired by a barcode. Um, not really because I think they're a remake of the 92 to 94 kit, but it's unique nonetheless. I opted for something a little bit more traditional, however I included some extra faded stripes in the middle of my design to balance out the navy and white, so it is kind of unique and on its own. You can see my design is a predominantly navy top with white stripes. Uh, the stripes in the middle of the design fade as they go towards the bottom and top. Uh, the fade effect is carried over to the sleeves as well. I think it's a good balance here of simple design and some unique elements thrown in to spice it up a little bit. I actually prefer the West Brom kits that are predominantly white with navy stripes, but I had an idea for a white away kit, so I went with the mainly navy home so I could go with my white away design. Speaking of which, my white away design is actually one of my favorites here. It features various light blue rectangles that are connected to make up a pattern and also include some navy trim. I really love how it turned out and it's seemingly simple but I think would look really good on an actual produced jersey. And then for the third kit the design is fairly simple. I opted for a red kit because that's the other color uh, West Brom frequently use. It features this line pattern that mixes the darker red with the brighter red and overall again is pretty simple but I think contrasts the other two kits nicely. The new Tottenham kits this season are overall pretty solid. The design on the home is nice. I like when they include a little bit of yellow on the kit, but I'm not the biggest fan of the blue shoulders. Uh, I think the kit would have been better without them, but I think the design itself is pretty good and I love seeing the little bit of yellow in there. I'm not a big fan of the camo green away kit, but the yellow third kit is super nice and looks great on the pitch. I didn't do anything crazy in my design, however I did add subtle wings to the sleeves because I thought that would be a pretty unique feature and fitting for them since they are since they do feature a bird on their badge. For the navy away, I wanted to do something simple but with some unique sleeves and you can see I came up with this pattern. Uh, it kind of looks like the PewDiePie pattern if you guys are familiar, uh, but it's just simply made by having some stripes and using the liquify tool. 
I originally had this pattern covering the sleeves, but it was a little too much. So I did half the sleeves, basically just the shoulder part, and continued the pattern on the side stripes as well. And the yellow shorts really kind of make this look nice in my opinion. And then I also carried the pattern onto the socks a little bit. The third kit features one of my favorite color combos in the world for jerseys, light blue and gold. I did an inner Milan kit a while back with these colors that I absolutely loved and I've been keeping this color combo in my back pocket since then. I try not to use it too much, but I thought it'd be very fitting for Tottenham to use these colors. The pattern is from the new France kit, which is one of my more favorite international kits this season. And the idea here would be that the, all the gold parts would be a reflective material and kind of stand out. But I really like the light blue and gold combo and I think this kit would look amazing. Fulham's kits this year are pretty basic and not mm, really worth covering. Historically, Fulham usually has a plain white top, but they occasionally mix it up with horizontal black blocks or thin stripes, one black sleeve, and some other basic design features. I really like the thinner lines for them, so that's what I did for my design. It's actually somewhat based on the current Germany kit, which is another great international kit, um, and the design is pretty much the same as that. For the away and third kit, I designed some unique patterns for each. The red kit features a black block across the front, and it, which was inspired by them occasionally using that on their home kit, while the gray is just a paint splatter design I came up with, featuring some more gray, and it's actually a gray kit, not a black kit. Also, I really struggled to come up with an away kit because my last Fulham kits were some of my better kits that I've ever designed, uh, at least according, again, to Instagram likes and feedback. Um, you can check those out on screen now. So you let me know which ones are better, the new ones or the older ones I designed. Wolves kits this season are not bad, but they aren't anything too special. They went with black sleeves this season, which is a little different, and they used a pretty common Adidas pattern uh, on the chest, which looks pretty good and fits them. The away kit is pretty unique with its color combo. Uh, it's mainly white with this blue distressed design, but they also have the orange and black trim and the badge is still the orange and black. So it's a bit of a clash of colors, in my opinion, the orange and the blue. Um, with the black just kind of look a little weird, but I actually like how unique it is um, It doesn't feel like your standard uh, kit that Adidas and Nike put out all the time It's a little it's a little different and I, I like their third kit then is a Portugal kit Which looks really good and is very fitting for them since they are a mini Portuguese national team in my design I gave them a home kit that features a like liquid marble pattern and it's subtle and uses multiple shades of orange uh, to make it a little more interesting than just a solid orange kit. And then the away kit I designed is black and features the striping from the recent Argentina kit. Uh, the striping isn't solid in my design though. It features uh, the black stripes, but there's also orange stripes underneath that are slightly bigger to give it the effect that the orange stripe or the orange is only on the outside. Um, so it creates like four uh, kind of back and forth orange stripes that I think is a really cool and interesting look and they're not overwhelmingly uh, bright or saturated they're kind of subtle and I think they kind of really work well in this kit for the third kit I went with a white kit so all three of these kits are aren't anything too weird they're all on brand for wolves I there's no Portuguese kit or weird third kit um, the third kit features multiple lines across the chest to make up like one big solid stripe across. And the striping is broken up with the wolf from their badge. So I don't know if you guys can see it, um, but basically uh, the wolf is in the striping effect subtly. I thought that would be a cool little design Easter egg in there um, to break up the striping. And you'll either notice it or you won't and the striping will just look a little staggered, which works as well. And I think these look pretty nice. Finally, we have Chelsea. Now, Chelsea is last because I think it's nearly impossible for them to have a good kit now. Their new sponsor, 3, has absolutely the worst logo of all time. I just can't get over how bad it looks. And with any other sponsor, their kits would look pretty good. Um, in fact, their away kit is one of the best kits this season, but the sponsor just really takes away from everything. In my design, I thought about getting rid of the logo and just using the text logo, but I thought that'd be a pretty unrealistic thing to happen. So I used both together to cut down on the size of the three. So it looked more like a sponsor and was less in the way. For the home design, I used a Nike pattern from this upcoming season that I think is really clean. It features these triangles with lines through them 
and they're both black and white so i set that to overlay to balance out the blues so you have darker and lighter blues i don't think a chelsea kit needs a whole lot going on design wise that's why i chose a fairly simple pattern there uh, but I did use gold trim on the collar and sleeves since I think it would go pretty well with their blue and it's something they haven't used in a while. The away kit design is something a little bit abstract. It features light and dark gray, light blue and gold. I thought it'd be pretty different and I think all these colors look good together. Like I said earlier, the light blue and gold always looks, get, looks good together, um, but this time it's incorporated with darker gray and lighter gray. For the third kit, I had seen the leaked blue and red striped third they were supposed to wear for the season and I couldn't believe how not bad but just it didn't seem right it's not a bad kit but it feels very weird for chelsea and it's very similar to like a crystal palace kit so i wanted to design my own stripe kit for them and i went with the black and red stripes here i limited the red so it doesn't feel like a bournemouth or milan or even like a man city away kit and i think it turned out really well incorporating some of this gray and this like pixelated almost pattern to it um, it's again one of my favorite kits here and that's it. That is my Premier League redesign project. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more videos like this, and be sure to comment down below what your favorite jersey was and what other leagues or teams you'd like to see me do. On this channel, I'm going to be doing a lot more of this stuff, and I'd like to continue to do it. So any support is appreciated. Let me any feedback that you have. I'd love to hear it. Follow me on Twitter at Quezzy and be sure to follow my Instagram that's Quezzy which is where I post most of these designs. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.